Tonight, we're getting a better look at how destructive this tornado actually was. The National Weather Service has officially designated that tornado an EF1 with winds up to 99 miles per hour. Well, County says two homes were destroyed, three others were damaged. The estimated cost of the damage between all five homes, more than $530,000. Several businesses were also damaged. Yeah, we spoke to two of them, one a feed lot, the other a farm with hundreds of crops destroyed. And that's where we find Denver 7's Patrick Perez. And Patrick, the farmers you spoke with say they've lived in Weld County their entire lives. They've never seen a tornado quite like this. <laughs> Yeah, they described it as amazing and terrifying. Anne. And if you see those photos and videos, I think that's a fair way to describe this. Now, as we know, last year was a rough year for everybody, including the agricultural industry. The last thing anyone really needed here was for this tornado to tear through here, damage their crops and their property. Imagine seeing this heading toward your family's home and their livelihood. Never, ever in my life have I seen a tornado. Uh, like ever. Michelle Van Hosen cannot believe what she saw Monday afternoon with her own eyes and phone camera. The EF1 tornado tore through parts of Southern Weld County, leaving damage behind in Platteville, the home of Miller Farms. I went out and recorded a video and I was like, well, it's kind of coming this way. I think it's okay. And so obviously, I mean, not everything was okay. Nearly half of the farm's crops in this field are gone. A bird's eye view shows the crops the tornado ripped apart. So we had um, beets, carrots, sugar snap peas, garlic, spinach. That's not the only headache. A semi-trailer they use for farmers markets and a combine they use in the fall, both badly damaged. The semi-trailer, we have liability insurance on that. Um, but the farm vehicles, we, we do not. Uh, just because, you know, stuff like that doesn't happen here. Over at Ulrich Farms, a few minutes from here. We're, we're still at the beginning of it right now, so we'll just see where we end up. They weren't as lucky. Just went straight through kind of the dead center of the feed yard. Uh, took out a couple pins, uh, a few buildings, houses, uh, kind of everything in its path. There's some pretty good damage. The tornado also killed a few of its cows, but thankfully no one else was hurt. I mean, all the people that live on site made it out okay and uh, just devastating to see what they got to go through. As the cleanup continues, both families just thankful for the outpouring of support from the community. Yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, it's been a blessing for sure. And this is just amazing. And this morning, the Miller Farms family, they created a GoFundMe, of course, to help them out with this. In just under half a day, they ended up raising more than $5,000. As for Ulrich Farms, the owner tells me they have yet to create a GoFundMe, but as soon as they do, he'll let me know. Patrick, thank you for that. And listen, 